Now, while working on your WordPress website, no matter what theme you are using, there are many times when you wish to create something custom, very specific to your website needs. But we all know that traditional WordPress themes do have some or the other limitations. For example, in a traditional WordPress theme, is it possible to build a custom header with an announcement bar on top and on top of it, can we schedule this announcement bar for any specific date or time in future? The answer is no. Or using the traditional WordPress themes, is it possible to design a custom blog post or maybe a custom archive page design? The answer is again no. Or can you add a call to action section inside any page or blog post or maybe a WooCommerce product page on any desired location? Unfortunately, the answer is again no. And the only alternative we have is to buy some bulky third-party page builders, which are not just expensive, but they make everything more complicated. And we all know that the websites built on these page builders do have some page speed issues as well. But we at Brainstorm Force love to solve big challenges for our users. And that's why we are introducing Site Builder with Astra 4.5, where you can turn every possibility into reality. And the real magic happens when we combine this Astra Site Builder with our advanced targeting system. I'm super excited to show you how you can use this Site Builder with the latest version of Astra 4.5. So without further ado, let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how everything works. My name is Ankit Sharma and you are watching Brainstorm Force YouTube channel. Let's begin. So in order to understand how Astra Site Builder works, we are going to create some custom templates. So here is what we are going to create. First, we are going to create a custom header. And with that, we are also going to add an announcement bar on top of it. And then we will use our advanced targeting system to schedule this header for a particular date and time. Next, we are going to create a custom category archive page, which will be targeted to a specific category only. And then we will take a look at how we can use Astra Site Builder to create a custom blog post design. And in the end, we are also going to take a look at how we can add a call to action section at any custom place, maybe on our blog post or product page or any page on our website. So let's begin with the first one that is creating our custom header. Now before we begin, make sure you go to appearance and click on themes and make sure you update your Astra theme to the latest version that is 4.5. Along with that, make sure you go to plugins and click on installed plugins. And here, make sure you have updated your Astra Pro plugin to the latest version, again version 4.5. And once you update both, now once you mouse over on Astra icon here, you will get a new option here that is Site Builder. And once we click on this, it's going to take us to this brand new page for Astra Site Builder. And here we can design any part of our website. Here on the left hand side, we can see we have an option for creating our header, footer. We can also create custom hooks. We have an option to insert any element or section in our posts and pages. And we can design our single page layouts as well as our archive page layouts and 404 pages. So with Astro Site Builder, we can now customize and create every section of our WordPress website. Now, if you want to create a new header, we can simply click on this plus icon here. Or if we click on this header menu option, here we will see all the custom headers that we have created. So we already have one created. So if I click on edit, I can go inside this template to do all the editing. And here it is. On the very top, we have the template name. And below this, the first thing in the content area is our announcement bar. So maybe for the Black Friday, you want to showcase some deal and you can add a call to action button here. And just below that, we have our normal website header. Or I should say our custom design website header. So let me show you how we did all this. So for our announcement bar, it's pretty simple. We have used Spectra plugin to add all these elements. So I'm just going to copy this entire container here and then I'll show you how you can recreate this header. So if you come back here in our site builder dashboard to create a new header, we are going to click on this plus icon. So now we can enter the new header name and let's start by pasting our announcement bar here. So we are just going to use the same 
And now in order to create our custom header, all we need to do is just click on add after so that we can start below this container. Let's add a new container here. We will choose this single layout. And now we can simply go ahead and add all the blocks that we want to create this header. So first, let's say you want to add your website logo. So you can either use this site logo block from the native block editor, or you can also add an image and upload any image from your library. Let's say my logo file here, and maybe I can reduce the size a bit. And after this, maybe I want to add a navigation menu so I can just click on add after this image block and then start typing navigation. So here is the navigation block again from the native block editor and we can create our own navigation menu here or maybe we can choose the one that we have already created from the WordPress backend. So I'm going to leave it as it is. And if I click on the main parent container, and under general layout, if I scroll down at the very bottom, here we have the flex properties. If I click on this, under directions, we are going to choose horizontal or row so that we can have all the elements in one line. And for the justification content, maybe we can choose this one. And if we go in the style section, under spacing, maybe we can add some padding here. So let's unlink this. And let's add 15 pixel padding from the top and maybe 15 pixel from the bottom. And now we can publish this. So now our template is ready. We now need to decide where we want to show this and when we want to show this custom design. So for that here we have Astra site builder icon. Let's click on this. And here we can see the layout type is header. If you want, we can change that as well from here. We have the sticky settings. So if you want to make this entire section sticky, we can do that from here. But the main thing that we need to focus is this one, display and user conditions. Let's click on this. And here we have the conditions that we can use to decide where we want to show this custom header design. So for this one, let's say we want to show this on entire website, but you can do a very specific target as well. You can choose maybe a specific page, post or taxonomy. So that will be really specific for this header. So let's try this one. If I select this, now we have another option where exactly we want to place this custom header. So let's say we want to place this on a specific page that is about us in this case. So here is the about page. Let's select this. So as per this rule, we have set this custom header design on a specific page that is about page. Once that is done, we can also set where we do not want to show this custom header. So we can reverse our condition here and we can also decide display for users. So if you want to show this custom header only for a specific users, so we can select that from here. And once we have configured everything, let's close this and let's update this here. So this is the front end of our website. So this is the header that we created using the normal header builder that we have in the Astra theme customizer. But let's see what happens when we visit the about us page. So let's click on this. And now we can see we have our custom design header showing on this particular page. If we go on any other page, let's say on services. So on this page, we do not see our custom header. It's again showing the header that we built using the theme customizer. So this is how we can create a custom header using Astro Site Builder. And then we can use the display conditions to show it on any page that we want. But this is just the beginning. Let's come back here on our site builder settings. And here we also have an option for date and time conditions. If we click on this, we can turn on this time event. We can now set the start and the end date and time for this custom header. So this custom header that we have created targeting our about us page will only be visible for this particular time that we set here. And that is where the real magic happens. So now for any special event, you don't have to worry about if you have created the right design on the right time. You can just do the designing and schedule your design when and where you want to show this. How cool is that? So now let's see how we can create a custom archive page using site builder and then show that custom template for a specific category only. If we click on archive here, so here is one of our template that we have already created. So if we open this to edit, 
this is how it looks we on the top we have a simple container where we have added a heading and using the dynamic content option we have selected the data source as archive title so whenever this template loads it's going to show the archive title here and if we scroll down this is how the post loop will look like so let's see how we can create this kind of custom archive page and here on our archive template section let's click on this plus icon to create new or we can also use this create new button from here so let's click on this and now we are back in the same editor so let's give our template a name so we are creating this template to target our business category for the blog post so that's why i just gave this random name now here in the main content area let me first paste this top header so this is just a simple container where we have this background image and as mentioned before we are using this heading block and using the dynamic content to fetch the archive title and just below this now we are going to add another container and inside this we are going to search for loop so this is the loop builder block from again spectra plugin so let's select this one and now we can choose the type of loop that we want to create. So let's say I go with this one. So now we have the entire loop ready. We just need to do some filtering here. So for this loop builder, we have few settings under layout. We have post per pages. So we can select maybe six or nine. And if you want to do any post offset, we can enter here. And the main area that we need to focus is this content section. So let's click on this. And here in the taxonomy section, if we click on this down arrow icon here, we can see all the categories that we have created in the WordPress backend. And we also have a business category here that we wish to target. So let's click on this. So now in the front end, it should only show the post from this business category only. We can also do all other filtering as well. We are going to leave everything as it is. And now let's see how we can target this particular template for a specific category only. So once again, we will go to this site builder icon here on the top and we are going to leave everything as it is and then directly go to display and user conditions again. And again, we are going to select specific target. And for this one, we are going to type in business. So here we have the business archive page. So let's click on this. So this template will be applied on the business category archive page. So once that is done, let's close this box. And once again, we can also set the date and time conditions if we want. Or we also have the device visibility option as well. So we are going to leave all the things as it is because we want this template to be permanent for this particular category. Now let's click on update. And if we go in the front end of our site, we have this blog section. Let's click on this. And this is the normal archive page for our blog section from the Astra theme customizer. And if we click on this general link here, let me open this in a new tab. This is how the category archive page looks like, which is again from the Astra theme customizer. But now if I click on this business category link, we can see we have our custom design here. Now we can definitely go ahead and do some styling work here to make it look better like this one. But the idea is now we have a powerful tool to create all the custom templates that we want. Now if we come back here on this blog section of this website, and if you click on any of this blog post, this is the template that we have for the single blog post, which is coming from the Astra theme itself. And this is going to be same for all the blog posts. But now using Astra site builder, we can create a custom post template, which again, we can target to show on all category blog posts, or maybe we can use our advanced targeting system to show that custom blog post design for a particular category only. So let's see how this can be done. So we come back here in our site builder dashboard and here in order to create a single blog post template, we need to go to single and let's click on plus icon here. So we are again back in our content area. Let's give this a title. And now in the main content area, in order to create our custom blog post template, we need to add few elements. 
like our blog post template, our feature image, the meta details and the main content body. And now there are two ways by which we can add all these details in this custom post template. First, let's say we are using Spectra plugin. So in the main content area, let's say we want to add title of our blog post. So we add a heading here and this is the heading blog from Spectra plugin. And this is just the static placeholder text. But in order to link this to our post title, we need to use dynamic content option here. So let's click on this and here we can choose the data source, which is the current post and the source field from the current post is the post title. If you want, we can enable the link. We can replace the full text. So let's turn this on and then click on apply. So now we can see it's already fetching our post title here. In the same way, we can go ahead and add an image block from the Spectra plugin and then use the dynamic content to fetch the feature image as well. But just in case you are not using Spectra plugin, you can go ahead and use the Gutenberg blocks from the native blog editor. For example, for this title itself, if you just go ahead and type in title, this is the title block from the native blog editor. If we click on this, it's again going to fetch the title of our current blog post. So in order to create a custom template, you can use whichever you want. But if you use Spectra, you get a lot more options and styling to customize. And once you are done with all the designing, we just need to click on publish in order to publish our template. And once again, we need to specify the display rules. So for that, we again need to go to site builder and here in the display and user conditions, where we want to show this single post template. So in order to use this template on all the blog posts, we can simply choose all posts from here. So right now, if we just select on all post and close this box and now just click on update, this template will now be visible on all the blog posts. Now let's say we have a call to action section, maybe a newsletter blog or maybe any advertisement that we want to feature on certain pages or certain blog post or maybe even on our WooCommerce product page. So let's see how we can do that using Astra Site Builder. So once again, we are back in our Site Builder dashboard and here we have inside post or page template. So if we click on this, once again, in order to create a new template, we need to click on create new and now let's give it a name. Now let's say this is the call to action section that we want to showcase on various places of our WordPress site. So we don't have to copy paste this on every single page. We now have a smart option that is site builder. So let's first go ahead and publish this. And now we go to site builder settings and here just after layout, we have a new entry just below this. And this one is location settings. If we click on this here, we need to select the location on any page on any content area where we want to show this container. So either we can choose after certain number of blocks or we can also choose before certain number of heading blocks. So these are the two options that we can choose and decide where exactly we want to place this container. So let's say we choose after certain number of blocks. And let's say we enter number two here. So it means that this container that we have designed here will be visible on pages, post or whatever display condition that we set after two blocks on that page. So once that is done, let's click on display conditions. And now we want to show this on all the blog posts. So let's click on all posts from here. And that's the only condition that we want to set. So let's close this and let's update this page. And now let's go back to our blog section and let's open any blog post from here. Let's say this one. And now on our blog post, if we scroll down, here we have our call to action section that we have designed using Astro Site Builder. Now just to cross check, let's go ahead and open any other blog post. Let's say this one. If we scroll down, again, we have the same call to action section added here. So using this inside post or page template, we can create any template design and then show that on any desired page and even on any desired location as well. How powerful is that? 
So this is how we can use Astra Site Builder and create every possible design that we can think of. So I'm sure you will love using this new Astra Site Builder and we can't wait to see what you build with it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, do let us know in the comment section below and we would love to hear your thoughts on this. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And if you want more tutorials on Astro Site Builder and want to learn how you can create some amazing looking WordPress website using this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.